So I want to talk about biophilia, right? How would you explain to someone what biophilia is? Biophilia, actually, it's a theory. It's important to say it is a theory, although when we're talking about designing for particularly mental health, it's one of the areas in which we've got the most research to support and show this really does have a big impact on, on how the majority of people feel. It was kind of started by a guy called Edward O. Wilson, who was an um, environmentalist and naturalist and, and researcher. And he, he basically came up with this theory that as humans, we evolved as a part of nature and um, we therefore have a kind of innate need or desire to, to be in nature or around nature in contact with it. We know from the data that people do find spending time in green space relaxing, it lowers blood pressure. Even like having trees on a street can be shown to um, reduce crime rates. But we learn from nature. There are so many ways that nature has the science oh, of our- We are part of nature. We, and we so are part of nature. really, really so challenging the idea that we're yeah, not part of it. There's a real danger of saying, yeah. we live in our hermetically sealed boxes over here. Mm. Nature's this place, whether it's Virginia Water or Devon, where we go and visit nature. No, we've evolved for billions of years from single-celled organisms as a part of nature. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really interesting that when we talk about biophilia as well, people, as you say, people go straight to greenery, they go straight to plants, but biophilia is so many elements to it. You know, natural daylight, the changing of the, changing of the light throughout the day, mm. that's biophilia. Mm. Um, animals, bringing, you know, bringing bees and birds and wildlife into cities, that's, that's all biophilia too, that's all biophilic elements. And even, you know, natural shapes, the room we're in now, sort of these gentle curves, the use of timber and things, they're all biophilic elements. So Psychology it, is biophilia. It, yeah, well, exactly. It's yeah. human nature and human nature and, is nature. I think engineering and processed um, technical materials are also part of that. How we think, our intelligence, our creativity, and whatever it produces is also a natural outcome. Who do you think you know, controls our, um, our access to understanding biophilia? Because we're educated in, in a university, we're educated through books or through discourse or through YouTube channels, right? But who controls our access to understanding biophilia? For me, it's so linked with social evolution and politics and business, um, patriarchy. Um, nature is more feminine. You know, we've, we've evolved buildings and society and business to be so one-dimensional. Um, the non-inclusivity, all of that is unnatural. And we're paying the price of that in so many different ways. So for me, it's been an evolution where as a, as a race, we've, we've kind of been blinkers on, you know, egos dominated nature and just slowly gone the wrong direction. And mm. we've been our own enemies to a degree. And so it's a chance now that we have to do things that may feel counterintuitive. And it needs courage and it needs patience um, and vigilance. You know, it needs us to be awake. I think if our well-being was an open palm, we'd be shaped by hands that hardly shake ours. Opinion, perhaps, or fact, you tell me. Perhaps professional intentions are out of touch with the lives living within these lines we've so eloquently drawn. Call it a consequence of minds not being holistically cared for.